tracking a cooler night this evening as we drop down into the upper 60s. Partly cloudy skies heading into tomorrow, so it's going to be a cooler start to our Friday. Beautiful start to the day with some sunshine. Late in the afternoon, though, we could see a bit more cloud cover as there could be a few showers off to our south, but most areas make it to the low to mid 80s. Here's the setup for tonight. That front that came through earlier today sliding off to the south, and that's where it will stay heading into the weekend, keeping us dry at least through Saturday night, but by Sunday I'll be tracking that moving back in our direction. Here's what it looks like out the door tomorrow. A bit more cloud cover for our southern counties. Most of the day is dry outside of a few showers near the Lake of the Ozarks and I-44 by late afternoon. Going into the evening, we continue to clear things out. It's going to be a cool start to our Saturday as we get down into the lower 60s. It's going to be beautiful, but as we get back into the afternoon, sunshine temperatures get back into the mid 80s. Going into the evening, cloud cover starts to build and I'll be tracking a chance for some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms on Sunday as a warm front lifts through the area. That should warm us up a little bit more into next week. Over the weekend, though, great at the Lake of the Ozarks. Water temperature almost 90 degrees and highs on Saturday only make it to the lower 80s. On Sunday, we'll have to watch out for some showers and storms, but temperatures should stay in the mid 80s for highs. Next week, it's going to get much hotter. Upper level high pressure starts to build, and that means we're going to remain dry for most of the week and temperatures start to creep up each day, getting back into the mid to upper 90s by Tuesday and Wednesday. The heat index could exceed 100 degrees as the humidity also starts to climb. Here's the seven day forecast. Rain chances after Sunday will be fairly slim. We're going to warm up quite a bit between Sunday and Monday as we get into the 90s. On Election Day on Tuesday, we should see temperatures in the mid 90s.